Hello folks, hey, the old fisherman back with you. I want to walk into Miss Deborah's craft room. It hadn't changed since she's passed away. Sad place to come. Live every moment, laugh every day. Love beyond words. All of those fancy stuff she had in here. She made all these little covers for her sewing machine. It remains the same. All the stuff on the walls, little signs, sad place in here. <sighs> How I miss her. We fixed this place up right before she passed away for her to do her hobbies. It's a sad, sad place. But anyhow, hey, we're going to do a little video showing how to tie my double rig and uh, showing how I tie my double rig and and uh, and I'm going to show you also how to put the mylon a poly flash on a treble hook we're going to go over all that thanks for being with me go right to showing you how I do all that Hello folks, hey the old fisherman back with you. Today I'm going to show you, we use Seaguar uh, Invis line, 8 pound test on my leader, my 2 rig. We got a number 12 swivel and I branch, I double the line and I come off about 10, 12 inches to the first jig. And I've said this several times before and then we go about 8 inches below that with a longer line, put another jig and a little lead on the bottom line. And uh, I use eight pound test cigar floor carbon line. A wonderful line, you got to love it. And now I'm gonna show you how we put the poly flash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a product that's finished with the poly flash. Uh, poly flash, right here, poly flash. And we made it, what we do, we take a little small hump. And I'm gonna give you an example of what I've done. Took about an eight inch hook, six inch, and we went in, the end, slid it through the eyelet, folded it back down over the hooks, and we took the red string and went around it and then super glued it. That's all I'd done. And that's the end. And we're using a one off owner hook. One off owner hook. Perfect for the uh, flutter spoon. And that's what's been helping me catch all these stripers. And I appreciate all y'all. I'm going to take you on a fishing trip where I caught all the crappies and the stripers. This is the striper part of it. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for going. Uh, the folks have went to the uh, website, Taylor's Tees. Thanks to all y'all for doing so and for all your purchases. Appreciate you watching the old fisherman videos. Hey. Let's go fishing. I'll show you how I caught the stripers before I found the crappies. Let's go fishing. Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again on Lake Murray. And look who's there again. They, every morning they come see the old fisherman. Hey, boys. You want something to eat? Look at them. Every morning they wait for me. When I drove up there way out in the lake, and here they come. Come here, boys. Come on. Talk to the old fisherman. Quack, 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 quack. Let's do some duck talk. Quack, 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 quack. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Look at them jokers. Now, you think they ain't pets. Angela says she likes these little ducks. You got to love it. Hey, animals got feelings too, people. Just remember that. Love your dog, love your pets, love animals. Hey, it's God's creatures. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get that. Come on. Come on. Come here, you old fisherman. Come here. Come on. I love the hairdo. That hairdo is... It makes me laugh every time I see them. Hey, we're going to Lake Murray today. We're going to try to catch a couple of stripers. Let's go have some fun. Hey, love some life. That's what you got to do. I keep saying it, but you better love life because you don't know how much is left. And, uh, and love your animals. Pet your dogs, kiss them. And pet your mate and kiss them too. Let's go fishing. Got old Betsy up here. Got some uh, fans up there fixing to unload to go fishing too. Hey, we're going back today and try to catch some doggone stripers. We don't give up. We might give out, but we don't give up. Let's go fishing and see what we can do on a beautiful day. Loving life.
Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray again this morning. We're gonna try a little place here. I hadn't fished right here before. A little pocket in here, a little ditch, a new ditch, and see if we can find something in this new ditch. Don't know. We're gonna give it a shot here this morning on Lake Murray. See if we can catch a couple stripers in this ditch. You never know till you try. <clears throat> See if we can pick up a couple. Looks like we got plenty of bait in here. I don't know if there's any fish in here or not. Plenty of bait. y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life. We're going to try to catch a couple fish. We hadn't been on any fish. We went to our perch fishing yesterday. Caught a few little ones. Never could find the big ones. Uh, went way up the lake, up toward the river. Never did get on a bunch. Caught some. Not enough for a video. Caught some small ones. But, uh, hey, we back over here in the area where I've been catching my fish. But the fish kind of left out of this area for some reason. I don't know why, but they did. fish this channel up through here, a couple channels in here, the wind's up this morning. They might be in one of these channels this morning, never know. <laughs> Just got to try. See what we can find. It's gonna be another hot day on the lake. This weather's something. It's gonna be over 100 degrees today. No doubt. We got to find some stripers. Oh, there was a bite. There was a bite. We had a bite. One bumped it. Hit it again. Got him. Got him. Hit it on the way down. He hit it on the way down. We got him. Oh my, we got him. Put it on spot lock. We got him. First fish of the day, folks. Maybe we'll catch our fire pretty quick this morning. First fish of the day, you got to love that. Nice one too. He's a good one. He's a good one. Uh, he's a, about a four pounder. Uh, three or four pounder. He's good enough. Hey, we got him. We got him. <laughs> he's a good one. We got him. Number one. You got to love number one. Hold oh, now. Calm down yourself. Oh, gone! I tell you what, they mean, folks. They mean. They are really mean, huh? Yeah. What well, we got? First fish of the day. You got to love that. First fish of the day. What? We got. We got to love it. Get our little pliers here and see what we can do. That's a good one right there to start off. I hear fish hitting that channel. That's a good sign. It might be some fish in here in this cove. We get the right spot. We know it's one was in here. Got to be some more. We just got to get the right little turn on this channel. See, I was in 30 foot now I'm in 15. That's how that thing turns. It's like a little pocket in here. I didn't even know this pocket was over here. I kind of stumbled on that. I come in setting up my camera. I went to go off and got close to the back and there was a hole. Well, I didn't even know a hole was in there. You'd think it was shallow, but it got deeper. So that channel runs in next to the bank right here, which is extremely good. Anytime you can find that. And that's what we just found, a new hole, I think. I've always fished over here, but I never come on this, right in this area. I didn't know it dropped off like that. So it's an extremely good place to catch fish. The way it drops right there. Extremely good. That's the kind of place they get it. And they're usually pretty good fish in a place like that. <clears throat> I don't know how many they'd be scattered, but uh, hey, we don't need but five. There's a lot of bait in here too. I can tell you that's one of them ambush places. They can come in that channel and push them out and feed on them. 
it's like an underwater cove and it makes that turn so it can push out on that turn. It's lots of bait in here in 25 and 30 foot of water. There's got to be some strippers in here to get the right spot. Got to be some more strippers. I'm thinking. We got braid line on this blue rod uh, with a uh, um, Invis uh, Seagull trailer uh, a, a, a line off the a braid with a swivel. I use about a 10 swivel on this, a little bit bigger swivel than I do on my three rigs, my jet, crappy jigs. A little bit bigger swivel. You know it's got to be more, more stripers in here. Can't be just one. Oh, there he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. It's when you least expect it when one crushes it. What he does, when you least expect it, he hits it. Oh my, what? My goodness. I jumped the pulling now. Boy, he nailed it too. Let me tell you, he nailed it. Oh my, he nailed it. He nailed it. Good one too. Real good one. Real good one. Hey, day. Real good one. Jokes, I pulled it out your hand. It's a good thing these rods got long handles on them. I can tell you that. Good thing. That's a good fish right there. That's a good fish right there. That's a good fish right there, folks. Good fish. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. What a fish. Huh. Look at that. What a fish. That's a jumbo magnum, is what he is. Hey, day. What? Mm, 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 mm. Man, gotta get out there and there. Might have to unhook him to get the hook out. There he goes. We got him. I can get the hook out of it now. Twisted in a knot in here. Y'all bear with me. I ain't never had a knot like this in this net. Here it is. Bite straighten the hook out. I got to I got to uh, bend the hook back. You bite straighten it out. Oh, not to mention he's done uh, bent the hook tip of his bent. And got dull. One of my hooks is really dull. That ain't good. That is not good. Hey, that's a good fish, though. Broke the tip off. Look at him. Look at that water fish. That's a good one, ain't it? Okay, hey. Hey, that's number two. Let's see if we get number three. I'm sure we can. I don't know about this hook though. I'm gonna have to change hooks. See if we can get another knot. I'm probably gonna lose the fish with this thing because it's uh it's bent. Went 32. We went out a little deeper. Might be what we need to do. Hey folks, I believe we might have a few down there. Let's see if they'll bite. I see something. Might be stripers out here in deeper, 41 foot. Hey, there he is. Oh, that's what they are, stripers. I missed him. I missed him. They stripers. They out here in 41 foot. They deeper. What it is. They deeper. Hitting short, too. Nothing hit at it. There he is. We got him that time. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. We out here deeper. We went shallower. Didn't find them. Come out here deeper, and that's where the fish are. Out here deeper. Good one, too. Good one. They're out here deeper in the 40 foot range. That's what they done done. That joke is going around the motor, too, let me tell you. Around the motor, into the sun. They go to the sun every time. Look how they're going. Huh? I'm going to have to stand up. The joke is trying to go around a doggone boat. It's 
done went around the boat. Oh my, oh my. We gotta get him all the way back around here on the other side somehow. Man. Man. Wrong side of the boat. He, got, he going where he wanna go. He ain't going where I want him to go. I can tell you that. Got him in the chin. That's what I've done. Got him in the chin. Hey, but well, we got him. He is. We got him. They out here deeper. We figured them out. Hopefully. They can't we figure this one out anyhow. Hey, he's a nice one. Don't go rascals. You got to find them is what you got to do. You got to find them and then you got to catch them. He's a good one. He ain't no super dog, but he's a nice one. Y'all see him right there? Put him in here. Let's see if we can get another one. See if we can get another one. All right, throwing back out. Where the big boys lie? It was a school of them come under me, and I seen them. I don't know if they're still there. I don't see many now. We might draw them back in. Move this boat a little bit of slant in 40 foot of water. Had two bites right quick there. You got to get where they at to catch them. I can tell you that right now. You don't get where they at, you ain't gonna catch them. And they moving fast. I tell you, they moving fast. Right there, some right there. There's some right there, I believe. 41 foot. Maybe we can catch one of these, I hope. Now we zeroing in on a little deeper water. Maybe we'll catch some. Maybe we catch some. They'll move out. When they're undone, they got hot. They'll move out in the middle. Don't oh, jump on it now. One's hitting it going down. There he is. We got him. Oh, there he is again. We got him. We got him. Oh my, we got him. Hey, day. Sucker's pulling, buddy. He's pulling. He's pulling. He is pulling. Going toward the sun. Every one of them does. Hey, we done found them out here in the middle. We've been back too far back in the creek. We've been too far back in the creek. That joke is pulling too. What? I think I got him snag hooked. That's what it is. He's pulling. Come on in here. We got to pump him in. When you're pulling a fish in, you want to pull the slack and reel, keep tight and reel back to him. He's hooked inside the head. I can tell the way it's shaking. It's foam shaking coming in. Foam shaking. Huh? Foam shaking. Hey, he's a good one too. He's a good one, but he's hooked in the doggone side. Hey, yes. Hey, we got him though. We got him. We got him. Mm -mm -mm. We got him. And he's definitely hooked in the bottom of the lip. Hey, day. Uh, look at him. That's a good one though. Hey, he's a good one. Look at that. The size of that one. That's a pretty one, ain't it? Hey, day. Hey. We can get them nothing right quick. We might be done found where they at. I believe we done found where they at. They all up under me. Hot head deep. Where they at? Hot head deep. Great. They the out here deep. Suspended. 37 foot. Suspended. I see we can get them nothing. Mm, one bumped it. One bumped it. One bumped it. There he is. Golly, there he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh my, he nailed it. He nailed it. Hey, they, he nailed it. Oh my. He got it, and gone, and gone. And all up under the boat though, getting around that doggone motor. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, oh my, there he is. A good one too, a good one. Look at him, 
Look at him, what a fish. A good one. Hey, Jay, look at that, what a good one. What? Look at that, what a good one, folks. Hey, old fisherman didn't take long to get his limit, did it? Hey, thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode of Love and Life. Hey, if you haven't got your t-shirt, go to Taylor Steve's. The link is on my description. Uh, you got a link in the description of my videos. Take you to Taylor Steve. He's got, he's gonna have more stuff coming out. But uh, hey, go check him out. Soon we'll have some hats and stuff. I uh, hope you enjoy. Hey.